Hello everyone. Sorry about the lighting in advance. I'm filming this out in my living room, so this is gonna be a fun time. Um, today I'm going to do a foundation review on the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. So I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this, so I really wanted to try it since I've never tried anything from Milani before. And when I bought it, it was already open. And it's really gross, but whatever. We're gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm probably not gonna go anywhere or do anything special today. I'm gonna be editing um, a video, uh, watching these crazy dogs. Probably not doing anything crazy. Maybe we'll go for a walk. Um, but I might be fitting a nap in there, so uh, we'll see how that holds up. Just taking that Nivea Mint on my face, my primer for my primer. This is definitely a holy grail for me just because it just makes my makeup last all day long. And I really should be seeing how it lasts on its own, but I don't feel like it. I'm sorry if you can hear dogs walking around. I said in my last video that we're fostering a dog right now and he is just freaking out for some reason. He just keeps pacing around. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Um, my face is very extra dry today, so give it some life. And when I tested this foundation on the back of my hand, I noticed that it was pretty matte and pretty thick, so. Now for the foundation. Um, I will read a little bit of what it says. It says medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. Um, the sweat proof and long wearing is kind of what I go for. My shade is 01 Creamy Vanilla. It's like the second lightest shade that they had. And I was kind of disappointed with that too, by the way, because the lightest shade they had was like very, very pale skin. I don't know if you've ever watched Jade the Libra. She's a YouTuber and she has very, very pale skin. She always has to get the lightest shade. Um, but I think that that might even be too light. Like it was close to white. And then they had this, which I think is actually gonna be a little too dark for me, but just by a little bit. <laughs> All right, like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by the dogs, um, I'm gonna take one pump as usual on the back of my hand. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it's not gonna come off. Like it is just so thick and it has some hair in it. Cool. Already. So I'm going to take, dot this all over my face. Maybe this whole living room situation was not a good idea. Blend that in. Okay, first thoughts as I'm doing this, I hate it. I It's just so hard to blend right now. But it just gives my face so much texture. Do the other side now. The color is actually really good. Okay, so I have some blemishes here on this side. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like brought them out even more. Really hate it, like legitimately. Like I hate it. I literally hate it. Now, if you have perfect skin, 
and you just want that really flawless look to your skin like you don't really have any redness or blemishes anything like that this is going to be great for you because i have some red spots that just made them look purple and like that's just not good that's not a good look yeah like this side i have three blemishes like right in a row and it just looks like a line of purple no matter what i do the color is actually perfect i gotta say that this is probably like the most perfect match of a color I've ever had but like I'm just not feeling it so let me just put on the rest of my makeup maybe it'll look okay afterwards okay so this is what it looks like with my makeup on I'm actually feeling a little bit better about it it's still not that great it's super super heavy I'm like mad that they put it that it's lightweight it is easily one of the most heavy feeling foundations on my face that I've ever had so that's kind of annoying so you can still see like the marks right here and under my eyes is creasing pretty bad my forehead of course um, but on this side it doesn't look too bad I don't know it's I mean it's definitely like thick and I, if you were to get this, this would be a very good foundation for a special occasion uh, from the drugstore. So this is a good one if you're like, I just want to, you know, a makeup that I don't wear every day, but it's something that I can wear to a special event. It's, uh, it looks good on camera, I think. See how it goes. But I don't know. Right now, I'm just like, I just don't get how so many people like this. Like, I, I don't know. It just feels like heavy. And I have really dry skin, and I'm afraid that after a few hours it's going to start hurting, but I'm going to stick through it. Um, it really doesn't look too bad right now, but one thing that's crazy is that there's oil poking through. Like, you can see it, like, right around here. Like, I'm getting oily, and I literally cannot remember the last time that I got oily was anything. But I also did put that um, luminizing primer on. I don't know I don't like this and I probably will never wear it again I should probably just give it away honestly this is a dog that we've been fostering Max Max do you like the foundation he's a good dog you can't see him right now oh there you go I don't know it looks good like on camera like when I look in the camera it just doesn't look too bad but I'm just not feeling it it's just not my thing it feels thick like since I put it on, I've been wanting to take it off, and I hate that feeling. It's just like, look here. No. Mm -mm. Nope. It's creasing up here. I don't know. I'm just not having it right now. It looks good from afar, but far from good. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try the foundation? I don't think it'll work on you. Anywho, I'm probably gonna only come back one more time, um, like later tonight, because like I honestly just cannot do how heavy it feels. It just feels heavy. Like I keep messing with my eyebrows because it makes it feel like my eyebrows are just like. So we'll see, we'll see uh, how it goes. I'll come back for one final check-in. I'll probably come in around. I'm gonna say seven o'clock because I don't know how much longer I can go with this on my face. Okay, bye. All right, guys, this is the final update. I hate it. I can't wait to take it off. It's still daylight. I it's. I look like a grease ball. I've been home literally all day doing nothing, and I have literally been ashamed of my own skin at home. No one's, no one's seen me. I'm going to go take this off. Final note, don't like it. Probably shouldn't have used a luminous primer, to be honest with you, but it was so damn thick that I thought that, okay, it's going to be matte AF. So, yeah, that's about it. I'm really scared of toilet paper rolls now because there was a giant cockroach in mine um, and I jumped up so fast and uh, now I'm scared of toilet paper rolls. I hate myself for that. But I, I don't think I told you this but I just got that new mascara, the, the L'Oreal Feline mascara. Mascara? I really like it. I, if you're gonna, if you're like a mascara person, definitely go get you some. Okay, well I'm gonna go now and I'll see you in another video. Peace!